There's not a season that this is normal. This is abnormally cold. It is going to feel like negative 29 in Fargo. You kind of want to stay inside if at all possible. She's advising us to stay inside. I don't blame her. <laughs> it's cold, man. Oh, well, it's going to get colder. And good morning. It is 3 a.m. on December 8th, and the road trip to North Dakota begins now. So we just finished up a nine and a half hour drive. It's 10 degrees. We're going out scouting now to hopefully hunt for tomorrow. Birds should be in the field. We're gonna check out a few areas that we marked on the map. All right, so we're out here scouting, went to this area that we wanted to focus on, and scouting conditions are pretty tough, uh, but we were able to find some geese that we're gonna be hunting tomorrow in an unposted field um, that is cut, so we're gonna go ahead and mark that spot so we can hit it in the morning. So we just got to our Airbnb here in Bismarck. We're gonna do a little goose hunting cribs. Here we go, first off, we got a heated garage here. The best part about the garage, check this out, we got a sauna. That's right, that thing's gonna come in handy after these sub-zero goose hunts. Coming into the house here, spot for the dog, full kitchen, great spot to barbecue, cook geese. This is probably where we'll spend most of our time. Bunch of couches and TV. Coming upstairs, this is where the magic happens. Master suite here, McCormick's room, another good room here. Tell you what, this is a lot better than a day's in. Beats a hotel room all day, every day. First morning here in Bismarck, it's negative three degrees. Got some donuts, some gas station coffee. We're good to roll. Day one, scouting was a little challenging. We saw about 30 geese in here, so there should be more. So our plan is to set up here where we saw them with about half the spread. Then we're gonna leave about half the sleepers so that just in case they're landing a mile on the other side of the field, we can quick pack up, leave the spread here and move on over there. We got this arctic blast that's pushing through this portion of the flyway right now. We've been seeing a lot of geese migrating out of here, probably trying to get on the other side of it, which is Missouri, Nebraska-ish. Hoping it doesn't affect our hunt negatively too bad. See how it goes. I know, Led, this is bullshit, huh? He's like, coldest hunt of my life, and no action. Well, it's about 1.30. We've had six geese come out so far, and about 6,000 going south. How many geese we got? Zero. <laughs> some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. We were the bug. <laughs> we got crushed. We did get crushed. <laughs> well, two o'clock. We gotta be done. I still think these geese are gonna fly, but nothing we can do about it. So pack up, hit the road, go scout, and see if we can find something where the birds are hitting the field earlier. <laughs> Trying to figure out where these birds are at right now. We're seeing some flying. Go track them down and make a game plan for tomorrow. buy a truck and you're a goose hunter, don't tint the windows. I got a pro tip for you. If you buy a truck and you're a goose hunter and you see geese, just roll the windows down. It's not a big deal. Well, we're finding a few fields. They're kind of hopping around a bunch, but we got a couple spots we're going to try to get permission on right now. Uh, got the landowners kind of tracked down, so hopefully we'll be able to hunt them tomorrow. Wind chills to 35 below zero. Sounds like we're going to need layer up tomorrow. <laughs> I could very possibly hold these geese down the entire day. Precautionary awareness. Wear appropriate clothing, a hat, and gloves, it says. That's a pro tip for you. Field goose hunting late season. <laughs>
morning, day two, negative 10 degrees outside. Welcome to Matt with us today, and he's gonna be here for the rest of the trip, so the crew's all here. Stop here at McDonald's, it's about eight o'clock. Let this weather warm up a bit, let these geese get moving around. Head out there and try and run some traffic. Hopefully they fly before two, but we'll see. Right, day two here in North Dakota. It's about negative 10 degrees. It's noon, so we only have a couple hours left. But what we've done is we set up in this bean field. The idea is we're rough hunting up against these electrical boxes that are here. So we're gonna be standing there, rough hiding in our white. We wanna be really big. Big to us is long, not wide. The length makes it look bigger than it is. We have a wind coming from the west. What we've done is set decoys about 20 yards off and ran a big line here and a big line here. What this provides is good visibility from every angle. Birds are coming from this direction, so the thought is that they can get into here or ride this line here and pull up into a pocket that we've created that's thick. And so this thick pocket is the, is the head of the decoy spread. This is where we're trying to finish them. It's a traffic hunt, so we want to look big. We only got about a couple hours to make it work, so let's hope they fly and, and uh, test out this theory. All right, so obviously we all hunt a lot. We've done the drill, we know the drill, but we like to run through safety before every hunt. Make sure the guns are on safety when they're loaded. Make sure the guns are on safety and your guns are clear before we get out in front of them and go start picking up birds. Seven. We got three minutes. I think we're about done, boys. Never been so happy <laughs> to kill two geese. <laughs> Seriously. What a relief. They're I mean, flying now. Too bad it's 205. Let's get in and see if seen. we can call them in. to hang out and see if the spread works. We're finishing geese right exactly where we want to finish them. But it's after two, so we can't shoot them. It's good to know that it's working. We just need geese to fly before shooting time. Tomorrow, day three, we get to shoot until sunset. We'll be able to put the hurting on the geese. Until then, we're gonna have some fun tonight. Wake up in the morning, make it happen. Oh! Uh -huh. 